So if you put the same color of sky in that sky hole, it's gonna pop and it's gonna look like a polka dot. Hey everybody, here's a question that I get asked all the time in class. How come when I put little sky holes in the trees, they always look like polka dots? Well, the first thing I tell them is they're not actually sky holes, they're called bird holes. <laughs> if you don't put bird holes in your trees, the birds can't fly through. If you don't have birds flying through, then it's not a natural landscape. So you gotta have bird holes. So today we're gonna put bird holes in our trees. And how do we do that? The whole purpose of this thing is that they need to go in a specific place. There's a place to put them properly that's gonna make it way more natural. And how does that work? Let me show you. The tree gets a little stem and then it gets a little bouffante part on the top of the tree. And that little baby tree is I call happy. And he's like, hey, I'm a little tree and I'm growing very good. And once it grows and gets enough food, it decides, oh, I'm gonna get bigger. And it puts another bouffant on and maybe another bouffant on. And then it becomes a, that's a teen tree right there, a tween tree. Then it becomes an adult tree by what? Having another branch comes off and one here and maybe one over here. Pretty soon you get a big giant tree. So all of this is called new growth. This is first growth, second growth, third growth. So, if you can zoom in on this, I want to show you something here. You can see down here, this little area is called first growth. See these sky holes that are right here in this tree? That's between the first growth and the second growth, which is here. So between the growth of the tree is where the sky holes belong, right? So if we come down here, also on the end of the tree, here's the first growth of the, growth of the tree. Here's the second growth. Look where the sky holes are. All right, so that is where you put them when you have growth. So your tree ends up looking like this, but you'll see inside your photo, there's a blompy and a blompy and another blompy where these meet right in there. That's where you need to put a sky hole, okay? Here's the key to the sky hole. Let's go over here. DDC, what does DDC stand for? Darker, duller, and cooler. Here's the phenomenon that happens. If you take a white dot and put it on a black uh, on a black surface, the white dot will look whiter than a white dot on a gray surface. Why? Optical illusion. The white seems to be brighter on the darker surface than it does the grayer surface. These sky holes here, though they're the same color as the sky, they pop because of an optical illusion, because they're surrounded by a dart. So if you put the same color of sky in that sky hole, it's gonna pop and it's gonna look like a polka dot. But if you go darker, just like half a tone, half a tone, half a tone, darker, duller, and cooler. So you need to darken the sky color just slightly. You need to dull it, gray it off a little bit, and you need to just put a pinch of blue in there to cool it off that sky hole will sit back there and your tree will read. All right, look at this picture down here. Uh, first growth, here's all the second growth. Look at all the sky holes between the second growth. Excellent, okay, let's go to the canvas and let's just put this into play. Let's uh, throw in a quick tree here just as a demo and see if we can put some bird holes in it to kind of show you what's going on. And just so you know, this is Ned Schneebly's house. This is where he lives now. You can't paint the fleas on the dog till you've painted the dog. So don't try and paint around these little holes. Just block in the tree, then put the sky holes in as such. Okay, so I blocked in this whole giant tree, but I'm gonna put the sky in and then I'll put the sky holes in behind. So just give me a sec here to get some uh, sky color mixed up. Okay, so we've got our sky color here. So DDC, darker, duller, cooler. How do we get it darker? Well, one way to make it darker is to put a darker color in. And if I need it cooler, why not put a dark blue in? So I take a little bit of the blue, the ultramarine blue, and I throw a little bit of that in there. Now you can see here already, there's the sky color. This is already gone because the sky color is a bit of orange in it. The orange and blue are opposite, so it's great. It made it duller. The blue has made it darker and the blue has made it cooler. Probably in a video, I don't know if this is noticeable, but there is difference between these two. That minor difference is what stops the, the uh, 
chicken pock look on your on your trees. So I got the right color now. We just come in here and you just throw some of these in. Look how that looks. Oh my God, that makes me happy. Here a little bit over here, right? Throw that in. Maybe a little bit on this edge where she's growing here. Maybe a couple down here too and one over there. Look at that, that looks fantastic. These ones are a little high. Just tap them back. That looks amazing. <laughs>